1973, Peruvian Amazon, Constance Webb is researching a rare spider alongside her co-worker Ezekiel Sims. She is pregnant and a bit weak, but she pushes through. Once the spider is located, Sims turns on the whole team and shoots them dead. Constance struggles to grab the spider from him, but Sims shoots her too and leaves her for dead. From the trees, a tribe of hidden warriors, Las Aranas, the spiders, emerge and grab Constance, bringing her to their secret cave. They bring her into a pool where they use the same spider to bite Constance before she gives birth to her daughter. Before dying, Constance sees her baby and is told by the Aranya's chief that the girl will be meant for something great. 2003, Queens, the girl grows up to be Cassandra, Cassie, Webb, working as a paramedic with Ben Parker. After taking care of an emergency, Cassie and Ben return to the hospital where the son of her patient gives her a drawing for helping his mom, but Cassie is weird and awkward about it until Ben makes her take the picture. Sims now lives in New York, haunted every night by a dream in which three young women with spider powers attack and kill him. Sims sleeps with an undercover NSA agent, who he tells this to. After he finds out who she really is, Sims uses his power, inherited by the rare spider, to poison the agent. Cassie and Ben respond to an emergency of a car dangling over a bridge. Although they manage to get the driver out, Cassie is left trapped in the car as it falls into the river. A powerful force envelopes Cassie and appears to activate something inside her as she sees and hears things before being revived by Ben. Cassie later goes to a baby shower for Ben's sister-in-law, Mary. Cassie makes things awkward during the games when she mentions how her mother died giving birth to her, which makes Mary uncomfortable. Cassie also experiences a moment that she thought already happened at the party, brushing it off as deja vu. A fire breaks out at a nearby building. Cassie and Ben go to respond, but while Cassie is tending to an injured man, she sees a vision of her over the body of her co-worker O'Neill with his blood on her hands before she snaps back to the present. Realizing something is going to happen, she tries to get O'Neill to let her drive the ambulance he is supposed to drive, but he tells her to hang back. Not ten seconds later does a truck smash into O'Neill's ambulance, and he is dead before Cassie can get to him. A despaired Cassie goes back home and fears she cannot control what she sees. She then has another vision where a bird flies into her window, breaking it and dying upon impact. Realizing it's a vision, Cassie leaves the window open so the bird can fly in and out easily, which tells her she can alter events. Sims works with his assistant Amaria to track down his potential killers using face scanning technology. They land on three teenagers, Julia Cornwall, Anya Corazon, and Martha, Maddie Franklin. Cassie boards a train just as the three girls start boarding the same one, and Cassie sees a vision of Sims killing all three of them. She quickly gets them all out immediately, but the girls think Cassie is trying to kidnap them. It isn't until they witness Sims crawling on the ceiling in a black Spider-Man-like suit and him attacking and killing police officers do they realize they are in danger. Cassie steals a cab and gets the girls to join her. After they manage to escape Sims and get through their awkward introductions, Cassie brings them to the woods to try and explain the visions that she has been seeing. The three girls then realize that they know Cassie in some way. Julia is the stepdaughter of Cassie's patient, the one whose son gave her the drawing. Anya knows Cassie as someone who lives in her building and leaves her junk mail all over the place. And Maddie flipped Cassie when she almost hit her with her ambulance since Maddie rode her skateboard in front of her. Cassie leaves the girls in the woods so that Sims can't find them while she goes to investigate. Cassie goes back to her apartment and finds pictures and journals belonging to Constance, along with a picture of her and Sims. Meanwhile, the girls get bored and restless, so Maddie convinces them to go to a nearby diner and get food before Cassie returns. 
Julia and Anya follow her, and they start hanging out with some boys. Cassie returns to the woods and doesn't find the girls. She sees a vision of them at the diner, where Julia and Maddie are killed before Sims takes Cassie out. She rushes to the diner, but Sims makes it there first. Before he can reach the girls, Cassie crashes through the front of the diner and plows into Sims. The girls run to the car and flee, where Cassie chastises them for not listening to her. At the same time, Sims learns from Amaria that Cassie is Constance's daughter. Cassie brings the girls to a motel room to properly hide them. They then explain their situations and how they have nowhere else to go. Julia's mother is in a psych ward, and her father remarried to a woman that Julia feels doesn't want her around. Anya's mother died when she was young, and her father got deported while she was at school, and she fears the same will happen to her. Maddie's father is a wealthy but crooked politician, and she wants little to do with him. Cassie decides to try and dig deeper to find out how to stop Sims while leaving the girls with Ben. Cassie goes back to the diner, where she experiences some kind of psychic connection to Sims. He knows of her powers and tells her why he is hunting the girls down, but Cassie says that there's no way they would be capable of killing him. Cassie flies to Peru and visits the location where Constance was working. She finds the chief of Las Aranas, who brings Cassie to the cave where she was born. He separates her spirit from her physical form, which causes her to see visions of her mother while she was pregnant. Although Cassie grew up believing her mother didn't want her, she sees that Constance worked hard to ensure Cassie would be born healthy, as she was at risk of contracting a fatal disease, and Constance was researching ways to remedy the condition. Cassie returns to her body and starts making her way back home. Back in New York, Mary's water breaks and Ben has to drive all the ladies to the hospital. Amaria gets a scan on the girls, and Sim starts making his way toward them. Cassie finds nobody home and sees a vision of Sims killing everyone downtown. Cassie then steals an ambulance and races to save them. Sims catches up to everyone and nearly detonates a grenade, but Cassie crashes through a billboard into Sims before retrieving the girls and leaving Ben and Mary to continue to the hospital. Cassie has the girls work with her to keep Sims off their backs while she speeds through the streets until the ambulance dies. They make it to a warehouse, where Cassie radios for a chopper to get them out of there. She has the girls set off flares into explosive crates for when Sims arrives. They start going off as he makes it, while the girls rush to the rooftop. Although they try to get higher, Sims brings the chopper down. The three girls make some attempt to help Cassie, but they are all left hanging over the edge for their lives, and Sims taunts Cassie with how she can't save them all. Remembering her experience with Las Aranas, Cassie astral projects herself to save each girl before leading Sims into a trap. The warehouse's sign starts to collapse, and Sims starts getting stuck under falling debris. Cassie tells him that his visions weren't warning him about the girls, they were warning him about her. Sims plummets to the ground, where he is crushed by a falling Pepsi sign. Cassie falls into the river as well, with one of the fireworks flying into her face, blinding her. Julia jumps into the river to get Cassie before Anya and Maddie administer CPR like Cassie taught them, allowing them to revive her. At the hospital, the girls gather around Cassie's bedside, each of them grateful to one another for saving their lives. Meanwhile, Mary gives birth to a healthy baby boy. His name is never said, but it's obvious he will one day become a certain famous web slinger. Cassie is left blind and paralyzed below the waist, but she is taken in Julia, Anya, and Maddie to live together in her apartment. Cassie tells them of another vision she has, in which the four of them don their suits to become super-powered crime fighters. Cassie smiles as she looks forward to the future.